Hi everyone, I'm Patricio Guerra and I'm going to share with you the process of this painting. Uh, well, the idea of this is to have uh, a painting for Easter, for the countries to celebrate this. And that's why we are using a rabbit. And we are going to put a lot of elements of these celebrations around the picture. Uh, I did this painting while I was living in Australia and that's why I have included a little kangaroo at the bottom left of this painting. Uh, so we started first with the sketch, the sketch that you saw at the beginning is very rough and we are redrawing everything on top of it. This is not going, the, the drawing that you're looking right now is not the final drawing, this is not going to be the inking it's just another sketch to refine and re-establish some of the details so as you can see uh, for the composition I decided to include uh, the main element that is the rabbit almost in the middle of the painting and is in the middle top part of the of the painting. Um, I think in this area uh, exists more contrast for this character to be placed and this will help me to reinforce the idea that is the main element. Keep in mind that I'm designing uh, the other elements to support the same idea. That's why the horizon and the, these little mountains that are at the bottom of the rabbit are being created in a way that um, they are somehow uh, enveloping this, this rabbit. So as you can see um, I did a little uh, landscape where you can see some of the parts of this idea uh, of this celebration. The idea is that the rabbit is some kind of holy and that's why he has this little uh, crown on the top of his head and later on we are going to re reinforce this with the painting as he is uh, arising from the ground to the skies. Uh, because of this theme of the celebration I decided to use very bright uh, colors and a palette that is somehow um, blue and uh, yellow that, that will give us the illusion of a lot of life or the impression of a lot of life. I'm doing a blocking first to testing the ideas that I have to prove uh, some of the things that I want to do and to see if they actually work. Uh, now we are going to do the sketch, uh, sorry we are going to do the inking of the sketch and for this I'm using this reddish ink. As you can see we are now defining all the details and we are using a uh, inking that is somehow a bit bold or the lines are thicker than what the sketch was it's just the style that I'm using is there's nothing in particular with this there you can see the cartoon uh, the cartoony rabbit with this a lot of details and marks that I usually like to do in my drawings it's somehow the influences that I've got through the years from the artists that I like. One of the artists that I can mention from whom I think I uh, take this kind of details is Todd McFarley and the other one is Greg Capullo from the comics of Spawn. I, I really like that style, it's amazing. And although I'm not copying that style, I've taken some characteristics from, from them to include in my work.
I'm trying to have clean lines uh, in some parts of the painting. I want this to look as a cartoony style and not exactly as a, a comic style or a, a realistic style. It's a cartoony thing, that's why I'm maintaining these lines and I'm trying to be as accurate as possible with the least amount of lines in some of the elements while in the others I include a lot of these tiny lines like if this is dirty or messy that just helped me to create texture and put extra things on top of it for the house based on the concept that we are using I decided to use uh, an X form to create this house like the X uh, that people search on these celebrations and you see these eggs in a lot of parts of the painting and we are also going to use the marks that this uh, eggs has as decoration for the house the trees and the forest are basic shapes too it's not something complex and very detailed and defined is to maintain everything consistent that's why the trees and the houses are somehow similar what we are doing is repeating the same type of shapes over and over variating uh, some things size space between them um, and then it's the same repetition we're going to have a river in the middle this will help us to separate the composition from the different elements that I want people to see and also the river will help me to guide uh, the viewer attention depending from where they are the idea is that they will look first the, the rabbit and then they will notice all these other details but if for some reason their eyes are lost in different parts of the painting the river will help us to guide them from the bottom left to the middle of the page where they will notice the, the rabbit. I'm doing a blocking here for the color and blocking the main elements and from the biggest to the smallest ones. Um, I think it's funny and it's interesting to have a kangaroo here. Uh, helps me to remember my time spent in, in Australia and that's why I did this painting. Now we are going to the main character. We start with the blocking as we did with the other elements and then we are going to put a little more color on top of it but with this blocking we have also a base to use a uh, layer mask then we don't have to worry about painting outside the, the, the rabbit I'm starting from a dark uh, or darker color and then I'm going to put the other elements and later on we are going to reinforce the shadows making some parts of the drawing even darker we have this um, crown of gold, oh, I don't know how it's in English, if it has another name, this, this little crown that holy uh, characters or holy representations of Jesus, uh, Mary and these saints have. As you can see now everything looks very I, th I would say attractive, like the color is attractive to the eyes, has a lot of saturation, but keep in mind that the work on color is never finished. We are going to keep watching this uh, and we are going to change part of the color till the end. And now that I, I was revisiting this painting um, a good time after I, I've done this, I noticed that I like it the color that I had and like almost close to the end of this well I was using some 
um, layer modes to give the um, illustration a bit of an orangey effect on the colors that at the time when I draw this I decided to change it um, because I thought that I didn't like it and now I like it it's just perception but it happens to everyone uh, now I'm going to put a uh, strong shadows and that's why I'm putting this uh, blue color but I'm going to use a, a blending mode then we make this softer this will help me to give more dimension and create the illusion of the space I think as you can see the the illustration looks a bit flat but it's because we haven't put all the lights to this uh, illustration, especially to the uh, rabbit. Now we are putting a lot of details on the rabbit, but later on we are going to reinforce all the highlights, or we are going to reinforce the lights with highlights, and we are going to put uh, a little of light coming from the bottom. This will help us to represent the ascension of this holy rabbit. This painting is getting almost all his uh, details. Uh, I am trying to achieve this uh, in a way that it's pleasing to all the eyes. It's meant to be like a children illustration. There's like the concept is very easy. There's nothing strange on it, uh, but it has a lot of details. I don't know. Tell me what you think. If, if, if you like this, or if there's something that you think I should correct to have. Uh, in mind for the future paintings we are doing now is more like a color correction and checking values that's why we are doing this in a, a black and white uh, painting like in sometimes in this process I, I turn on the layer where I take out all the saturation um, now we are going to see finally the lights I didn't like it to have this very sharp uh, rays of light that's why I usually erase sometimes the edges I want to have the light I just don't want to them to be too obvious because then it becomes very distracting and will put the to the people thinking more in the rays that in the actual character that is what I want to be noticed this is the color correction that I was mentioning before the purple uh, sli slash red slash uh, magenta color correction that I did and now that I'm looking I think looks good uh, I like the result but I uh, when I was doing this I took that out from the final painting You can be rendering the images infinitely if you if you like, but eventually you have to stop and decide when is enough. Well, guys, I hope you like it. This is basically the illustration and the painting. Um, if you like it, I would like to invite you to check my Patreon account, and you can support me in there. You can also have full uh, prints on Redbubble and Merch too. And there's more options to get high quality prints on ArtStation. And check my social media. Thank you for watching and follow me. I'd appreciate it if you can help me to share my artwork.